All right, so let's take a look at Unit 4, Lesson 7, um, which is titled Interpreting and Using Exponential Functions. We're going to skip the first part and uh, go right into Part 2, Radiocarbon Dating. Carbon-14 is used to find the age of certain artifacts and fossils. Um, it has a half-life of 5,730 years, so if an object has carbon-14, it loses half of it every 5,730 years. So at a certain point in time, a fossil had three picograms, that's a trillionth of a gram, of carbon-14. Complete the table with the missing mass of carbon-14 and years. All right, so... Um, at zero years, um, and this is after the fossil had the, the three picograms of carbon-14, um, there was three picograms. Um, and then um, let's see how much of 500 or 5,730, 19, or 1,910 is. So 1,910 divided by 5,730, uh, okay, so that's a third. Um, all right. Um, and so the half-life was 5,730, and 1,910 is a third of that half-life. So we have three, that's our, that's our initial value, times the half-life, um, but this is just a third of the half-life, so we're raising that to, to the power of one-third, right? So we have three times one-half to the power of, and I'm going to um, do it like that. Um, so it's about 2.38. <laughs> Um, so 1,910 years after that fossil has been found, um, it will have about 2.38 picograms of carbon-14. Um, and then we know that 5,730 would be half of the three, so we're going to have one and a half picograms. Um, and then half of 1.5 is 0.75. Um, and I will show you that. Um, so one, no, not one. 0.75 divided by 1.5 is one half, see? Um, so what we can do is double the number of years because it's a full period of the half-life. So 5,730 plus another 5,730 gives us 11,460. So 11,460 years later, there will be um, three-fourths uh, the amount, or three-fourths uh, picograms of carbon-14. All right, let's take a look at number two. A scientist uses the expression 2.5 times one-half to the power of T over 5,730 to model the number of picograms of carbon-14 remaining in a different fossil T years after 20,000 BC. And we know it's gonna be a different fossil because the starting value um, is 2.5. Uh, well, it, it doesn't have to be a different fossil, but it's different starting amount. Um, okay, so the 2.5, so the 2.5 is the number of picograms Um, in that sample year. Oh, and it was um, 20,000 BC. Um, so that was how much, yeah. All right, so of carbon 14, in the sample 
in 20,000 BC. All right, because T is representing the number of years after uh, 20,000 BC. All right, so the one half, the one half is the, um, the half life, right? One half and the 5,730. Oh, I put my comma in the wrong place. Um, tells us that half the carbon remains after 5,730 years. The carbon remains after 5,730 years. All right, so would it be more or less than 0.1 picogram of carbon-14 would more or less than 1.1 picogram of carbon-14 remain in this fossil today? Um, and so we are looking at um, how many years since 20,000 BC. Um, and so it has been 22,022 22 years since 20,000 BC, right? And so if we plug in that 22,022, we have 2.5 times one half to the power of 22,000, oops, 22 over 5,730. So let's see what that gives us. And that is an exponent. Um, I did not do a very good job of writing that. Here, we're gonna write the whole thing over again. So 2.5 times one half, and then there's our exponent. That looks better. Okay, so let's plug that in. So we have 2.5 times 1 half to the power of 2,000, or sorry, 22,022 divided by 5,730. And that gives us um, about 0 0.17, which is more. So more than 0 0.1. All right, let's take a look at 7.3. The half-life of carbon-14 is about 5,730 years, which we already know. Um, Pythagoras, remember that guy, Pythagorean theorem, um, leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Uh, so Pythagoras lived between 600 BCE and 500 BCE. Uh, explain why the age of the of papyrus from the time of Pythagoras is about half of a carbon-14 half-life. Um, and so, well, if we do uh, 5,730 and we subtract 2,022 from that, actually, not 2,022, because he lived between 600 BC and 500 BC. Um, and 500 BC is closer. Uh, so let's, let's just say um, we'll use 500. So we're at, this is the year 2022. So we're going to go with 2522. Oops, that's really ugly too. And we're going to subtract that. So 5,000, oops. Uh, so 5,730 minus 2522, and that gives us 3,208. Um, and so, uh, so it's not quite half, um, half-life. Uh, we're a little bit less than half-life, um, so it's going to be... Um, pretty close to half of the carbon life, um, but maybe a little bit, um, a little bit more than half is remaining because it hasn't been half as much time, right? Um, so, so the twenty-five twenty-two is how much time has passed, and so the three thousand two hundred eight 
is the time left for a half-life. So it still needs another 3,208 years to get to the half-life. Um, and so we have a little bit more than half left um, for the papyrus. But it is pretty close to, to half. All right, so number two, someone claims they have a papyrus scroll written by Pythagoras. Testing shows the scroll has 85% of its original amount of carbon-14 remaining. Explain why the scroll is likely a fake. All right, so if we... If we're looking at the half-life and not even half the time has passed, let's just raise that to the power of one, one half um, because that's like an overestimate because not even half the time has passed um, yet, um, or, but about half the time has passed. Um, and so if we do one half uh, to the power, oops, uh, let me move my cursor. There we go. Now to the power of one half, um, you get about 71%. But let's take it even further. And instead of doing one half this, the half life, the cycle, let's do um, our 26 or 2,600. Ah, I want an exponent. Oh, okay. Exponent. There we go. Um, 2,622 divided by 5,730. And look, that's 73%. So um, if, if we're trying to say that um, that scroll is legit, we, it, that's not because it doesn't have 85% of the carbon remaining. It would only have about 73% um, percent of the carbon remaining. So this, the one half to one half was about 71%. But then if we went a little bit further and we were a little bit more accurate, um, and we, we put this into the calculator, we got about, because remember that this was a little bit less than half the time, um, we got about 73% of the carbon would be remaining. And so it is likely a fake because it has lost too much carbon. Um, and so it's probably a newer scroll. It's not old enough.